So B, I think last time I spoke to you, you said you had to be involved in this card in some capacity, but you're competing. How happy are you? I'm elated. I'm just so, it really hasn't hit me yet. I'm just so happy to be here and honored to be here. I told one championship, whatever I needed to do, I don't care if it's Super Series, Muay Thai, I needed to be here in my home country representing. And they made it happen, so. You've been on a, a kind of a crazy journey your whole life, kind of leave it leading up to this week. How important was it for you to be part of this historic card? Uh, I didn't even know how important until it started happening, until I came back to Vietnam and the feeling was like no other. I mean, like just crazy emotional. I feel my dad in the air. <laughs> I feel just so much pride. It's, it's, um, it's a lot, but I welcome it. If I told you a couple of years ago you'd be competing on a huge card here in Vietnam, would you have believed me? I would have never believed you. I, there's a lot of things in life that I couldn't have foreseen, good and bad, in my life. And um, it's been a wild ride, and it's steered me right this time. So I just can't wait to see what Vietnamese women are going to do with this. Um, I just know that there's going to be some champions, future champions in the crowd, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. You've been getting a lot more of the spotlight leading up to this event. How much do you enjoy that? I enjoy the spotlight because I have a lot of things to say. I enjoy the spotlight because I, I, I am a woman and I think representation is important. I enjoy the spotlight because what I'm saying for women, to women is important. So, yeah, I'm very much enjoying that aspect of it. You've also spoken a bit about losing your father last year, the abusive relationship. Has it been kind of therapeutic, therapeutic getting that off your chest and talking about it? Yes. My story is not a story of sadness. It's a story of triumph. Um, so it's important for me to... I, I used to just want to talk about the triumph, but, you know, I, I, as I got older, I, I realized that a lot of people are ashamed of their stories but we all go through all these crazy things in life and um, I, I, I think that it's been extremely therapeutic for me and I hope that more people do it. It's been inspiring to listen to you talk. You're coming off a loss, although many people believe you won that bout. Coming off a bout like that, what's the mindset going into this week? I mean, I respect my opponent, but she's getting a lot coming Friday because I'm coming off of a controversial loss, um, all that angst and redemption. I'm in my home country, my dad's watching, my cousins and my uncles are coming. Um, I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a wrath of Killer B coming Friday. Could you be any more motivated, like you said, with all them circumstances? I never knew I could be this motivated, so definitely, uh, who knows, but I, I've never been this motivated, if, if that's what you're asking. Um, I'm trying to just cruise through fight week and not think about the pressure. But the thing that I've realized being home is the Vietnamese people are extremely supportive. Of course, I'm gunning for the win. I'm going to win. But I know that they're proud no matter what. What are your thoughts on your opponent, Pooja Toma? I think she's strong. She's an Olympian. you got to respect that. Best in the world at something, at Wushu. Um, she has powerful punches. But I think I'm more elusive, I'm faster, I have more experience in this sport, um, I have more tools. If she, she has one shot to be successful and that's to knock me out with her, her powerful punch, I have a lot more ways to beat her and um, I plan on fighting smart and using all those other ways. Have you seen a prediction for your, for your bout Friday night? I have seen a prediction. I actually have seen a second round TKO. Now, have you seen what she's predicted? She, I think she's predicted oh, yes. a first round KO. So what's your response to that? I, I saw an article that she said I, I was good, that I, but I didn't have heart. That's a little odd. I mean, but as athletes, we have to believe in ourselves. Um, but if she's underestimating my heart, that's the one thing that I think that she's got wrong coming Friday. And what was your, uh, give us your prediction again. My prediction is second round TKO. Brilliant. Looking forward to it. Thank you.